what you're doing now, Dave. Getting ready to take the coach into rolling retreats to get a flex armor roof put on. Why are you doing that? Well, there's got a couple little minute tears in it. Those were self-inflicted. And uh, it's just getting age on it, getting pretty old and crispy, so take care of it before it takes care of me. And bubbles in the roof and that sort of yeah, thing. And yeah. all the caulk is getting kind of yucky. Right. So best do a, an ounce of prevention. It's worth a pound of cure. And the coach is how old? Four. Oh, was this a 15? So that would make it what? Almost, seven, almost eight years old? Almost eight. About time, huh? About that time. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. On our three-month tour out west this past summer, we decided to change our route on the way back home to Georgia to stop at Rolling Retreats for a few days to get the Flex Armor Roof sprayed on our RV. We chose Rolling Retreats because they have a great reputation for the Flex Armor Roof and they specialize in DRVs, although they will put Flex Armor on any RV. Slade and Alicia Tenere have been owners operators of Rolling Retreats RV sales since 2006 and Alicia provided us with an interview about this new roof. We love it. So the scaffolding will roll in to the coach. So the process of removing all the stuff, plus we're getting a new fantastic fan. It was nearly 100 degrees when we were there, so there's going to be a lot of fan noise on the video. together then. Yeah, now we we can that. Good because that's where all the bubbles were. <laughs> and I dropped the rear of your gutter a little bit to help it drain. Cool. So when you see stuff like this you just caulk it? Yeah. Well you got those panels off there pretty quick. Whenever I get a rig with 20 that takes me. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few out there. Got this all cleaned up, shined up. End of day one. So we taped off the front here to pull this down a little bit yeah, further. I'm here at Rolling Retreats with Alicia Tenery. And uh, we just had some work done here. I'm going to tell you about it in a little bit. But right now, could you tell us a little bit about Rolling Retreats, the history of it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so my husband and I, Slade, own Rolling Retreats, and we have been, um, well, we started that in 2006, but we have been selling just DRV for probably like the last 12 or 15 years. I'd have to go back and count, but um, we 
were just selling like all kinds of used stuff and then I got a, a, a DRV in um, gosh probably two years after that maybe about 2008 and then um, I didn't want anything but and so we started tracking them across America and probably for about three or four years I sold only used DRV and then in 2011 they called me and said why aren't you just buying from us and I said okay so um, that's how that got started so started selling the new ones in 2011 and uh, it just progressed and here we are today. So how many people do you have on your staff here? We have about 13 people. So there's um, three in the spray bay, there's four in the service department, and then of course Slade. Uh, me and my two daughters are doing sales and marketing, and then we have Liz and Mary Jo in the office. Oh, good sized crew? Yeah. Super nice people. Thank you. Really, really have enjoyed working with all of them. Thank you. We had some work done this week, and we had the Flex Armor roof put on. So we started that, um, probably started spraying in about spring of last year. Mm -hmm. So we've probably done, I don't know, two, 250 rigs by now. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, yeah. So um, it's basically you're here just like two or three days. So you come in and um, you'll just go get a hotel or go to a, a b and or something like that. And then... Uh, we do a, an extensive prep, so sometimes we remove the rubber or the fiberglass if necessary, sometimes we don't. Sometimes people will um, have damage from like a tree or something like that, so we'll address any damage at the first part and get it all prepped and then there's like certain um, chemicals we got to do to certain things like the wood or the, or the radius and things like that. Um, and then we spray it. So. Um, Basically, it's a polyurea material. There's like an A and B chemical. It goes through this machine, and it comes out at 160 degrees. Um, it dries in like six seconds, but uh, it makes you virtually like hail-proof. Tree branches won't really hurt you, things like that. Um, and then there's a top coat, which is always white. So some people get a, a colored radius, and when we talk about that, some of you are like, why do I want to paint my whole roof black? No, it's just the edge that you actually see from the ground, but the main part of the roof remains white. Um, and that's a special um, paint that we're using up there. It's a, it's a rubberized paint, um, and it's guaranteed for the life of your coach, not for you, but if you like give it to your kid someday and then give it to their kid, as long as that coach is still operational, um, the the warranty, which is a lifetime guarantee, it actually goes with the VIN number of that coach. So it goes with the coach, not the person. And I've also heard that it may help you on your insurance. Um, well, yeah, because it basically eliminates their responsibility for your roof. Mm -hmm. So if you do, act, if you are out there and you get like hail damage or you hit a, a tree falls on it or whatever the case is, um, let your insurance agent know about Flex Armor because to repair that roof and put a new rubber on it, let's say, was probably going to be a little more expensive than them going this route. And um, so insurance agents love this once they figure out what it is. Try to repair that. It, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's rubber. <laughs> it's bendable, it's, yeah, so there's a little bit of flex in there, but uh, try to rip that. Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. You can't, you can't rip it. It's amazing. You've done almost 250 of these now. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what number we are. We might be 251. Who knows? Maybe. But have you had any come back because there was um, anything wrong with it? That it tore or hail damage? No. None of that. Nothing? None of that. No. I do have a, a customer of mine, and this was actually before we got into it. Um, he got his new coach from me and immediately left and went and got Flex Armor put on you know, prior to us, us being a Flex Armor applicant, um, he got in a really bad hail storm, like really bad. <laughs> totaled his truck, like totaled all the RVs around him. The only thing on his roof was three very slight indentions. That's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we have solar panels on ours. Mm -hmm. And I had heard it's best to get your solar panels on prior. Correct putting the flex on a roof on. Why is that? Uh, well, basically the way those are installed, I mean, that needs to be leak-proof too. So if you do it 
after the fact, like let's say you bought one and it's already got the roof on it, so but you want to add solar. It, it can be done, but you know we have to cut into the material and then spray in um, the studs and everything and then remount, so that's pretty time consuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'll definitely want to plan ahead if you can and get your solar first. So what are some of the other benefits of having it? I, I understand about the hail and tree limbs and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Are there any other benefits? Yeah, yeah. It's um, basically better insulation and it's so what I wasn't expecting for from customers that have gotten it, my pastor has one and so I actually put it on a little bumper pole that I owned and then I sold it to him. He was surprised going from his camper into his father-in-law's camper how much quieter it was. Oh. So it's a better insulation value, it's quieter, like so there's just a lot of a lot of benefits that are nice little bonuses. So I know you deal with DRV here, but you will coat anything? Anything. Anything that can roll into our spray bay. So I, I do have like <laughs> local people call and say, can you do my mobile home? Well, no. I can't if you roll it into my spray bay. So yeah, um, we can do horse trailers. Um, we do, we've done motor homes, little ones, big ones, like anything that would roll in there, we can put a roof on. So let's say I bring in my rig and you guys take a look at the roof and you're like, do you realize you're laminated? It's like, oh yeah, I did have a water leak up there. And what happens then? Yeah, yeah, we've done some pretty um, extensive water damaged roofs in the past, and so uh, we'll rip off the fiberglass, the the rubber, and all that, whatever needs to be done, and then we can replace all that decking under there. Um, one guy I think had a a tree, and it did some interior damage, and Slate took care of all that too. So. Yeah, we'll work with your insurance or whatever, and um, we can just rip pretty much the whole roof off, roof off and start over oh, down wow. to the rafters. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. good to know. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you uh, have storms where a tree hits you or something right. like that. Right, yeah. In addition to the solar panels, mm -hmm. there's dishes and vents and uh, cameras and all these yeah. other things that you can attach. So, yeah. what do you do with it? And fantastic vents, all that. Oh, yeah, stuff. fantastic. Plus, the most people have the um, skylight dome yeah, over yeah. the shower. Yeah. So what do you do with all those? Um, so all of those are sprayed in, in in a certain manner to make it leak proof. So if you want a satellite system, plan on that ahead of time. Or I think we can probably just like leave a prep. Uh, when it comes to skylights, almost everyone will have us just spray right over that. You don't have to. I do understand some people, you know, like natural light coming in. Um, we basically the coating goes up over it a little bit, but at the point it becomes brittle or has hail damage, then we gotta cut into the roof material and put it, fix it, and respray it. So it has to be done at a flex armor location. If if you don't spray over it and you want to keep the skylight, is there any maintenance to the flex armor roof? Not a lot of maintenance. So um, you can get up there. And, if you want to get up there and wash it, you can do like just a mild detergent and water. It's, it's pretty maintenance free. And the only thing you really need to ever call me about is if you see any of the, um, like the top coat. If you can see gray through that, the actual material, you need to touch that up. But pretty much there's no maintenance. Maintenance free roof. Why don't you tell us a little bit about where Rolling Retreats is going in the future? In the near future, actually, we are we are under contract uh, for some land in the Branson area. So right in under Missouri? Mm -hmm, okay. right under the big cross there, we we have uh, three acres we're under contract for. So we'll be building a new facility there just for flex armor, not for DRV sales or service, just roofs. What you got here? All right, this is our little uh, show model sample thing that flex armor sent us. Um, so basically, we're just showing you how it kind of goes up the sides of like a, a, a vent, how other roof vents are, are done, and then this is a, actually a DRV radius, so this is to show you how we spray over the radius, because you know all those little screws are under there, there's a little plastic piece that covers a ton of screws, it's all covered. Now this here is actually um, the actual material here on the ends. That's the color of it. This is your top coat, how I explained how the white 
it's basically the whole top is white and then we've got different color options and there's more than this that we can paint your radius like you guys have um, the black which looks so phenomenal so um, that's my favorite black if you have any black go with black I like how it covers all the screws and everything yeah no caulking no caulk no lap sealant down there or down here yeah like big puddles of cock see all that lap sealant it's all gone there's nothing there that can get a leak nothing you gotta do yeah. maintenance on end of day two Ooh, look at that that looks new. Oh yeah. So we got the front down to here. Bright and shiny. All bright and shiny. That's the bathroom dome, which we never had open because of the heat. So never just, open, period. Yeah, so we just covered. <laughs> What's this? Uh, that's what you're gonna That old local antenna? Yeah. yeah. Boy, that looks so much better. I have a little confidence in the roof now. Yeah. <laughs> Start of day three. The paint is done. Oh, yeah, the black looks good. Oh, they got our panels on already? Oh, yeah. Black on the, around the sides and then white on top. Panels on, the cameras on. So we are done. We just have to test everything, make sure everything's working. Oh, a couple things. Yeah, all right. Let's go look at the front of it. Yeah, he, said, he says they still got a few things to do. Yeah, that'd be one of them. Yeah. Um, you can't really see this from the street. Yeah, you can, but I... I mean, you got to know to look for it kind of yeah. thing. So having that black come down that far has helped a little bit, yeah. I think. But that is some rubbery stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. an idea how thick it is. Mm-hmm. It also gives you extra insulation on your roof. So... How you liking your new roof? I love it. I love it. Because there's no die core, there's no lap seals, no nothing. It's all one big piece. Goes over all the radiuses, goes up all the vents, all that. You don't have to worry about the big puddle of die core peeling up. It just looks good. Well, thanks so much for the interview. I appreciate the information you just provided. All right, well, you're very welcome. So if y'all ever, um, out there in the YouTube world, need any service for your DRV, that's all we service, or a roof on anything, or um, want to talk to me about any of our great consignments, you can just go to our website, which is rollingretreats.com, or give us a call at 580-225-3740. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.